So. Yeah, I think that flexibility of, of the mind and open-mindedness is something that uh, is so important for people in general, mm -hmm. but for sure when they want to create something new. Because if, if they are not keeping an open mind, they will never get to where they want and to get to a new thing is, is so demanding. So you need mm -hmm. to be aware of all the possibilities and, and, and not be sure, like be curious all the time. Like, yeah. I'm not sure here. I need to check that out. And, and being curious all the time is, is sometimes it's a quality of a person, but sometimes it's, it's hard because people want certainty. People want to do stuff that they know. And yeah. it's like, a, it's a shortcut in their mind. Just, I, this is the problem. This is what I do. And that's it. They don't need to go and find the new thing. Yeah. And, and, and I think that right now uh, people understand that sometimes they don't know the way and sometimes they really need to yeah. learn how to be in this uncertain state, which is um, very demanding in many cases. Yeah. It's, it's uh, the word I would love to use here is embrace uncertainty, you know, embrace it. Yeah. Just yeah. love this uncertainty. Don't like be, don't let it like go under your skin. Just embrace it. You say, that's it. We go in with it. I'm embracing this uncertainty. Let's yeah. go forward. Yeah. Yeah. Although, you know, it's hard, especially when you mentioned about health, that you don't want to wait for the answer. I think I read a research saying that uh, a, they uh, took people and they told him that they could get the answer and the answer could be really bad from the doctor or they yeah. could wait another week and then they might have a better answer. And they all prefer to get the answer, uh, even if it means a very bad situation for them, if, even if it means that they you know they get a cancer because they know that mm. they are here or there. The uncertainty is so unpleasant yeah. and so hard for them yeah. that it's hard to, to embrace something that's it's like it's, yeah. it's hard. But just to tell you, like sometimes certainty is will bring more uncertainty in a way that like you what you said yeah. in the thing yeah. is like they, they give them in two weeks, but maybe like whatever they said to them is not true and actually yeah. there is uncertainty more so yeah. it's hard to say like okay this is the way that's it so yeah. sometimes you take a path and then you say okay i'm taking this path let's see if i can turn back i turn back if i pivot or whatever uh that yeah. will help me to to make it happen. Yeah, yeah i i agree i think but as human beings like you, you think when you're a kid you're afraid of the dark like, yeah. why are you afraid of the dark? Because you don't know what's out there. And most kids are afraid of the dark and some, some grown-ups too. And, and it's the same thing. You don't know. Yeah. So the, this unknown state that could mm. risk you uh, potentially is something yeah. that people are trying to avoid. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. So we're talking about curiosity and open-mindedness and being unsure. So what are the skills and capabilities that you think are needed for a change maker? Yeah. For me, a change maker, like kind of uh, something that they need to have is like to be um, to be aware of their cognitive bias. That actually they do have it. You know, everybody thinks that they're smart and amazing. Like mm -hmm. I, I think I'm smarter than you. You think I'm smarter than you. And this is, it's never true. <laughs> like it's not only <laughs> yeah. one way or the 